They say a society cannot know itself if it does not have an accurate memory of its own history. Part of what makes us tick is the shared experience of the past, both recent and not so recent. It's a disaster that has been forgotten in time. The disaster that happened in 1866 at the Oates Colliery has never had a proper monument to it. It's almost sort of as if it wanted to be forgotten. A monument funded by a community that had all but forgotten. History rarely uncovers itself. It needs help. Gathering historical documents is research. But the problem is that unless you use that information to tell the story, your research is only half done. Academic researchers need art to tell the story, to squeeze out the emotion, bottle it. You can't learn what you can't see. Art can solve the problem. Art can capture and communicate to other people an experience. Researchers need art to help them do that. You can't learn if you're not ready to listen. Emotions are the gateway to conveying understanding in a way that becomes important to people. Important enough to give change so as to make a change. Stephen's research and subsequent film led to new school curricula, a Remembrance Day as well as a statue and greater local pride. Talk to the University of York Management School to build sustainable business, community and society.